Juliana, some people might not know that you are a first-generation Italian, so can you tell us a little you bit are? about your family background? Uh, Bill, I, I have a secret that. to tell oh you. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> yes, Ashley, you're right, though. A lot of people don't know that I was you born. You married me for the green card. I did. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's all out now. Uh, no, I was born in Naples, Italy. I moved to this country when I was seven years old. So, yeah, you know, uh, definitely part of a big Italian family, 40 first cousins. Uh, so eating Italian style is obviously was always a part of my upbringing, but still is a big part of my life. And then speaking of um, big families, and it seems like almost when you're eating Italian, it's more about the people that you share it with than the food sometimes. So yeah. has that kind of been how you grew up as well? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. In Italy, uh, you don't eat necessarily just for necessity or survival. Mm -hmm. You eat, uh, you, you make an event out of eating. You know, you make an experience right. out of eating. And it's a time to come together with friends and family, uh, spend a couple of hours around the dinner table. Uh, so yeah, it's really about the experience. That's awesome. And then Bill, so there are obviously some differences with you being American and her Italian. So what are some of the differences in eating habits? Well, you know, it's amazing. When I first married Juliana, I became an honorary Italian. And uh, early on in our relationship, oftentimes I would eat dinner and I, I would literally be standing up eating. And I'd be, you know, running off to an airport or late for a meeting. And Juliana said, whoa, whoa, whoa. If we're going to be together, you need to embrace the Italian way of life. Yes. And my goodness, it is so different because in Italy, like Juliana said, it's an experience. You're, you're not there for, you know, 10 or 20 minutes just to eat and go. Uh, I read an interesting article. I was just telling Juliana about this. 80% of Italians set the dinner table every night before dinner. And in America, it's only 10%. So their frame of mind is, hey, we're going to use this as a time to connect as a family, to really communicate and just enjoy each other. Uh, and that's something that we've embraced. It's the manja way of life. And then how can we bring that into our own homes, that very, way of life? Very easy. You know, we, um, we partnered with Bertoli recently for National Pasta Month. They've got these great, great meals. You can find them at the freezer department at your local grocery store. Uh, what's nice about these, you keep them in your freezer. <laughs> Bill, stop. He's tickling. <laughs> I'm tickling. And when you're ready, <laughs> when you're ready uh, to make an amazing meal, you just pour literally everything out of this bag into a skillet, uh, and you cook it on medium heat, for 10 to 11 minutes, you don't even need to boil water, which is kind of amazing. And I'm not kidding you, you have a delicious Italian meal in 10 or 11 minutes. And so we love doing that and we take those 10 or 11 minutes to really dress up the table as well. Well, and what's great about these, these meals is you can really customize them to fit your taste. So if you like something spicy, you take a little bit of crushed red pepper, mm -hmm. you put a little red, red pepper on there, you can take some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, and, and get a block of Parmesan cheese in a That's grater right. and keep that on the table to make it a little more authentic. Like that, yeah. And then, right, that also gives some time to the busy people, you know, who say that they don't have time. Exactly. A 10 or 11 meal, like minute meal, that's great. Exactly, exactly. But if well, people want to learn more about this, they can go to BertoliMangia.com. And if you don't speak Italian, Mangia is spelled M-A-N-G-I-A. -A. Yeah, I can barely pronounce it, so I'm going <laughs> to let you guys handle <laughs> yeah. that one. Huh? So now, how are you guys celebrating that? Well, we are we, <laughs> eating a lot of pasta. We, we celebrate uh, <laughs> National Pasta Month 12 months a year in True. our family. So uh, it's really no different than any other month. But, you know, this is a month where we're having a lot of friends and, and family over and we're doing a lot of cooking at home. So uh, we're embracing the Italian way of life. Mangia. And then if you wanted to start a meal from start to finish, how, what would be your like go to pasta meal? What would you try to tell people to create this month? Well, I mean, there's so many different pasta meals to choose from, but my favorite is the uh, rigatoni with the spicy Italian sausage. So, and I actually kick it up a notch. I add a little crushed red pepper to it and some Parmesan, uh, and it's absolutely spectacular. I've been like feeding you, him all. Yeah, I mean, I'm on my third bag <laughs> of the rigatoni, uh, and it's noon. There and to go, and I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm trying to talk and eat. Um, oh my God, I'm crying right now. He can eat so much. Pasta. I love to eat. He has like three or four. I've got a hollow pasta. leg. So it just That's goes awesome. into my, my hollow leg. I'm crying um, right now, yes. No, but, do you want me to juggle those? What do you want me to do? Would you like to see her juggle? Do you want me to see me juggle? <laughs> Speaking of pasta. Here we go, ready? Speaking we of are, pasta. We are a, a, a dynamic duo. One, two, three. Look at that. Look at that girl. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? You, know, you didn't think you were getting that Manja. today. Look at Manja, that. baby. <laughs> pasta and tomatoes. BertoliManja.com, uh, anyway. Ashley. Yeah, yes, eat it and you awesome. will learn how to, it will teach you how to juggle. Perfect. You'll be juggling by the end of dinner. <laughs> And then, Juliana, you came yes. out with a wine recently. Yes. So what wine would you pair with pasta month? What's the best one? Great question. Mm -hmm. You know what? It honestly depends uh, what type of pasta you're eating. But you know what I noticed, Bill? I don't even know if you noticed this. Where is it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. No. 
So this is the Italian sausage and rigatoni. Did you notice there's a little glass of red wine mm -hmm. on this one? So it tells you right. what to pair it with. And wait, look, over here, since this is chicken and cream sauce, they did the white one. Well, Chardonnay. Look at that. So it is, it's even like a cheat sheet. It tells you what to, what kind of wine. So it honestly depends on the pasta dish. Um, I'm. I love red wine. I, think I probably much drink red, with every meal. red wine more often, but I love Moscato and uh, Pinot Grigio. So yeah, so I, I love all wine. Yeah, I do as well. And then, um, Bill, so you do some motivational speaking to you know businesses and entrepreneurs around the world. What is one piece of advice that you'd give to anyone who reads this article? Well, you know, I always tell people you don't have to be the smartest person in the room, but you have to be willing to work the hardest. And and that's some of the uh, the best advice my mom and dad gave me when I was a little kid. And they also used to tell me it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to have failures, but it's never okay not to try. And I think a lot of these young kids, the millennials, um, you know, they're they're often afraid of failure, therefore they don't try new things and they don't branch out and that stifles innovation. So mm -hmm. uh, those would be my two best pieces of advice that I would give someone. Awesome. And then how can we find out more about the National Pasta Month? I know you've said it, but just one more time Bertoli if you don't mind. BertoliMangia.com and Mangia is spelled M-A-N-G-I-A. -A. All right, perfect. Thanks both of you for giving us a chance to speak today. Oh, thank, thank you so much. You. Have we'll a great rest of the day. Yeah, you have a good one. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Here, Bill, bye -bye. one last one. Oh.